Hello, welcome back. This is topic seven, nuclear chemistry, part 7.2, fission and fusion. Our aim for today is to describe the changes that occur during fission and fusion. So converting matter into energy. The total amount of mass and energy must be conserved in any reaction. The loss of mass seen in nuclear reactions is converted or made into energy. So it can look like mass has been lost, but it's actually just been converted into energy. Some mass is lost, it's made into energy. Nuclear reactions produce much more energy than chemical reactions. This is an understatement. Massive amounts of energy are produced by nuclear reactions. That's why nuclear power is such a controversial issue, because the amount of energy pro provided is immense and can produce so much more than what we currently use um, if we're not using nuclear energy. However, there are some risks and some people can't seem to overcome those. So nuclear reactions occur when protons and neutrons combine into nuclei. So the first type we'll talk about are fission reactions. Fission, to remember fission, it's all about splitting a nucleus. So a heavy nucleus is split to produce lighter nuclei. The large nucleus breaks into smaller nuclei. And heavy, the heavy element's nucleus captures a neutron. This makes the nucleus unstable because the nucleus splits. The reactants of fission are the heavy nucleus and a neutron. And produced by fission, are two middleweight nuclei that are radioactive and one or more neutrons. And of course, a large amount of energy is released during this process. So here are some examples of a fission reaction. You can see a neutron and a nucleus engage in fission. And when the splitting occurs, you produce two smaller nuclei and as well as neutrons. And here is a neutron being sent into a, um, an atom to, to split it in fission. And you have energy, some neutrons, and two smaller nuclei produced. The energy released during this process is massive. Fusion is the other type of nuclear energy, the other type of nuclear reaction. And this is the combining of light nuclei to produce heavier. So fusion and fission are very different. Fusion, like the word fuse, our nuclei are put together or fused together, which produces something bigger. Fission is when they're split and something smaller is produced. So fusing is coming together. Two hydrogen nuclei, if they combine, it forms a helium nucleus. This is what happens in the sun. So, uh, two hydrogens are constantly smashing into each other and they form helium atoms. A lot of energy and pressure is needed to perform fusion. This occurs in the sun but not on earth. Any star has engages in fusion. That is the main source of energy of all stars. Okay, they produce large amounts of energy. When you think of fusion, think of the sun. Okay, the sun engages in fusion in order to produce energy. The products are not highly radi radioactive. Where fission is producing radioactive substances, fusion it is not. So fusion reactants are two smaller nuclei, and you produce a larger, heavier nuclei and lots of energy. So here we have two smaller nuclei, and it, they come together to produce a larger, heavier particle of helium. These are two isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tri tritium, and they fuse together, producing helium. And of course, lots of energy is released. So some practice questions. High energy is a requirement for fusion reactions to occur because the nuclear involved. So for fusion, the nuclei are doing what? Okay, the energy involved in fusion 
occurs because the nuclei are repelling each other with like charges. We don't have opposite charges in a fusion reaction. They have like charges. And since they are repelling each other, this causes a huge release of energy. So it's choice three. During fission, which type of particle is captured by a nucleus? In fission, a neutron is captured. Okay. When a uranium nucleus breaks up into fragments, which type of nuclear reaction occurs? If something is breaking apart, this would be fission. Coming together is fusion. So uranium breaking into fragments would be fission. Compared to an ordinary chemical reaction, a phys fission reaction will, so during both fission and fusion, much larger amounts of energy are released. So this would be choice two, release larger amounts of energy. Which type of reaction produces energy and intensely radioactive waste products? This would be fission. Fusion does not produce the radioactive products the way fission does. And that completes this set of notes. See you next time.